Hey there McCormie users, my name is Beth and in this video I'd like to show you how to configure your company's security settings using our new enhanced security model. With the release of Build 76, McCormie has introduced a new approval workflow process, fully integrated with the existing Microsoft Dynamics GP security model. By allowing administrators to manage multi-level approval thresholds with standard application security tasks and roles. As a reminder, the familiar options of McCormick Security by User ID, Checkbook ID, or Standard GP Security still exist under the label Legacy and can be selected in the McCormick Security Setup window. This video will cover the following topics. McCorma Security Roles and Tasks, how to set up email notifications in the McCorma User Preferences window, how to choose a security model in the new Security Setup window, how to set up a threshold ID, and how to assign a threshold ID to a checkbook. Task-based security brings together all functionality found in our checkbook and user ID-based security options, giving you more flexibility across your companies and checkbooks. We now offer additional threshold levels and security options tied directly to each checkbook versus at the company level. Task-based security now utilizes Dynamics GP system security. Administrators will assign users the ability to authorize or approve payments by adding security tasks and roles to individuals' GP user security settings. For your convenience, McCormick has created six security task IDs that have been tied by default to their corresponding role IDs. However, you can use any GP security role or task that works for you. There are two different security options available, depending on the level of detail your company requires prior to allowing payments to be processed. Authorization allows any user designated with the role of McCormick Batch Authorizer to authorize payments at the batch level. Authorizers can now receive email notification when their authorization is needed on payment batches and then authorize these batches from their own GP instance instead of entering a password at the desk of the person processing the payments. Alternatively, secure approval workflow can be configured allowing approvers to review and approve individual transactions within a payment batch. Email notifications are also included, and approvers can access the approval information from anywhere they access Dynamics GP. Once a user has been assigned a security role, the associated task IDs can be used to configure the desired authorization or approval workflow, as we'll see a little later in this video. Administrators can assign user security roles in the following way. Open the GP user security window. Simply choose the user, the appropriate company, and the correct role. In our examples, I'm going to use the McCorma roles, approver levels one through five, or batch authorizer. This role assignment will automatically ensure that the user is able to perform the corresponding security task. Approvers and authorizers now have the ability to control email notifications from their own user preferences window. This provides the ability to choose what email notices will be sent or stop and start notifications as needed. First, be sure that your correct email address is entered here. Then, check this box if you'd like an email to be sent when your approval or authorization is requested. You also have the option to be notified when other users have authorized batches or approved transactions by checking this box. Please note, this window also has an out of office feature where users can assign another user with appropriate security access to take over their duties during a specific time period. Please see our video on the topic to learn about the configuration options. Let's start by opening the system level security setup window. This window allows you to choose which security model you'd like to use on a per company basis. Right now, all of my companies are set to legacy security. 
Upon upgrade, any system that has been running a McCorma build prior to 76 will save legacy security settings as configured in the previous build. If I click on this hyperlink, I see the familiar McCorma Micker security setup window with the option to set passwords by user ID, checkbook, or standard GP security. For all first-time McCorma installations of build 76 and later, task-based security is the default setting. To switch to the new task-based model, click the radio button here. Several ways of configuring your security settings are available. First, you must decide if your company wants secure approval workflow or authorizations for payment batches. You can also choose to simply configure signatures for your checks without any additional McCorma security. If you'll be configuring secure approval workflow for your payables module, the option to add our split batch feature and EFT security can be turned on by checking these boxes. These are the only two boxes that will need to be checked on this screen for this type of payables configuration. If you choose to configure authorization-based security for payables instead of secure approval workflow, you can designate up to two authorizers here. You must be sure to also choose the associated authorization task ID here. If you also own the McCorma Payroll module or wish to configure authorizations for the GP Financial module, you will need to designate the number of authorizers, up to two, for each and associate the authorization task ID here and here. If you'd like direct deposit security for the payroll module, be sure to check this box as well. Please note that if task-based security is selected and saved for all your companies, the legacy option will no longer appear. However, you can revert to legacy by clicking on Options and choosing Enable Legacy Security Selection. Always save your work if you have changed any of the settings in this window. Once users have been assigned the appropriate roles and task-based security has been selected, the next step is found in the Threshold ID Maintenance window. This window can be accessed from Security Setup by clicking on the Task-Based Security hyperlink. Otherwise, follow this path from the McCorma Area page. So, what is a Threshold ID? A Threshold ID allows you to save a series of threshold ranges associated with users' task IDs and default signatures in the way that works best for your company. Threshold IDs are stored at the system level and can be used across all companies in your Microsoft Dynamics GP environment. These Threshold IDs will later be assigned to each of your checkbooks. More details to come. Let's create a few simple Threshold ID examples. First, I'm going to create one called AP Approval 1, which will function like legacy user-based security with workflow and default signatures. As you can see, when you tab off the threshold ID name, the window automatically populates from one cent to the maximum dollar amount. For this example, I will choose the upper limit as 15,000 for my first threshold level, but these amounts can be configured in any way you choose. Then, I want to associate the Approver Level 1 Task ID with this threshold by using the lookup here and choosing McCorma Approver Level 1. This means that any user who has been assigned McCorma Approver Level 1 security role within GP's user security window will be able to approve all transactions between $0.01 cent and $15,000. Next, I want to select a default user signature for this threshold level. I can apply any signature stored in the signature library using the lookup. The signature you assign for each threshold will appear, regardless of who the approver is. McCormick's audit log will track who approves and processes all your payments, which we demonstrate in our video, Task-Based Security Processing Demo, available on our videos page. You can also choose to print a signature line by clicking this box, in addition to or instead of a signature file. Please note it is possible to assign two approver task IDs and two signatures of different approver task ID levels to any given threshold. 
When I tab to the next line, the threshold will automatically readjust to the next possible monetary increment so that there is never a dollar amount left out of your security configuration. To complete this threshold ID, I will set up one more threshold level along with the desired approver task IDs and signatures. This threshold ID will require that any transaction within the specific threshold ranges must be approved by those assigned to level two approvals and a second blank line will print for a wet signature on these checks. In the second example, we'll set up a very low threshold where payments under $500 do not require any approval before they can be printed. With the split batch feature turned on within the security setup window, your payment batches will be automatically split into three separate batches based on your approval levels. Payments at or under $500 will be ready for printing with a default signature right away. Payments between $500 and one cent and $100,000 require one approval before they can be printed. And those at the highest threshold level will require two approvers before being printed. We have also set default signatures, however, by marking override default signature with approver signature. If the approver has their own signature file attached to their user account in GP, their own signature file will be used instead of the default signature. The next configuration I'm going to show will behave more like McCormick's legacy security by checkbook ID. In task-based security, this is called authorization. To configure this type of security, you must add the number of authorizers and the authorization task ID as we showed earlier in the security setup window. Now, in the threshold ID maintenance window, I will create a threshold ID called AP Approval 3. Then I'll select Enable Signatures Only for this threshold. When I do that, the Approver Task ID fields are no longer able to be configured and I am essentially disabling workflow. You can set up your thresholds and signatures here in the same way we did for the first threshold ID. This configuration means the designated authorizers must authorize the batch with NGP before the batch can be printed. One more detail found in this window, if you would like the system to sort checks into their threshold groups when printing, you can check this box. Please know that you have a lot of flexibility in how you configure threshold IDs, and you can create as many as you like. I've demonstrated three very simple examples, but you're not limited to these examples. The new model allows you to customize the security settings that work best for your company or companies. And please remember that threshold IDs can be used across all companies in your Microsoft Dynamics GP environment. The final step in setting up your security is to assign a threshold ID to a checkbook. Open the McCorma Micker Checkbook Setup window. Choose the checkbook you want to assign by clicking on the lookup. To assign different threshold IDs to each module, use the drop-down menu here to select the individual module and the threshold ID you want to assign. Let's say I can't remember which threshold ID I want for the purchasing module. By clicking on the information button here, I can see all the settings I selected in the threshold ID maintenance window and decide accordingly. Be sure to assign all checkbooks with a threshold ID in order for McCorma security to take effect. To see a demonstration of how the payment process works with all three threshold IDs we've configured here, please watch our video, Task-Based Security Processing Demo, accessed from our videos page, linked in the description of this video. We really hope you're as excited as we are about the added flexibility of McCorma's new enhanced security model. Please contact us with any questions you may have. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.